literally in my apartment shaking by myself and I don't know why I care so much. <clears throat> Today's vlog is something I said I would never ever do. I told myself that I would never come out or talk about coming out on my vlog simply because I didn't want to feel like I was exploiting myself and other people of the LGBT community for attention or publicity or views or anything like that. Today's vlog started with an email I got from a random high schooler. I don't know why I'm telling you, but I'm gay. It's super scary to think of telling my parents, teachers, or other classmates because I'm afraid they won't like or talk to me anymore. Should I tell people or not because of their opinion of me? If so, how is the best way? <sighs> wow. I read that email today and I said, if this vlog can help one person, then everything I've done over the past year will be well worth it. I'm gonna tell you about my coming out story in hopes that it will show you that life is good, that it gets better, and that you aren't defined by your sexual orientation. I grew up in small town, super conservative Texas. I went to college to pursue theater. I met a girl in college who I started to date because that is what I thought felt right to me. Four years I was in a committed monogamous relationship with a woman who I still love and adore and is my absolute best friend to this day. But at the end of our relationship, right when I moved to New York City, something started to feel wrong, something started to not feel right. There was a guy, and I will never forget, we were at Whole Foods and there was a moment I looked at him and I thought, oh my God, that's what I'm supposed to feel with a woman. At that moment in that aisle in Whole Foods, I realized that I was gay. I was so petrified of telling my conservative small town parents. I was so petrified of telling my best friends. And I literally just couldn't deal with the fact that I was different. I remember flying from New York City to Austin to visit one of my best friends, Sadie. And I have told absolutely no one in the entire world. My heart felt like it was going to leap out of my throat. I said, Sadie, I have something to tell you. And she goes, what, that you're gay? And I said, yep. And she was like, great, know that I love you no matter what. And that's when I felt the most insane relief off my shoulders ever. I was more terrified than anything in the world of telling my parents. And so on Christmas Eve, I told my dad, someone had said that, oh, Tyler's gay. And I said, well, they're right because I am. And he hugged me and he said, I have loved no one on this earth more than you, and that will never change. And I literally have never in my entire life felt so free. So if you at home feel like you don't fit in, that you're dealing with the same things that I and so many other great successful people have dealt with in their lives, here are a few tips to go about it. Number one, don't do it until you're ready. It has to be the time that feels absolutely perfect for you. Number two, and at the risk of sounding cliche, remember that it gets better. Five years from now, what you did in high school, no one will care about. How popular you were in junior high no longer matters. Know that the people in your life will love and accept you no matter what you tell them. Number three, although it's hard, you gotta be brave. It may be hard, but life is too short to live in someone else's shoes, to be someone you're not. By having the courage to say, this is who I am, and be unapologetic for it is the most powerful thing you could ever do for your life. And you, my friend, are worthy of living a kick-ass life. And number four, and this is a biggie, y'all, love yourself. You are worthy of being happy and you are worthy of loving and being loved. So to all of the scared and bewildered high school Tylers of the world, know that you are loved, you are adored, and you are worthy of living a life you could only dream of. So go out and kick some ass. Until next time, I'm Tyler Mount reminding you to give love. Wow.